All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning in Rotary Park, looking at a very nice 1957 Chevy Nomad. Very nicely done resto mod, set resting on a uh, rotisserie style restoration. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we always do. Finished in a factory artesian turquoise, very nicely uh, presented with factory bright work. All been refinished. Nothing's been modified on the body, so it retains all its. Uh, factory shine so to speak when it comes to all the trim work on it, it has uh, Foose five spoke chrome wheels on it it has Willwood four wheel disc brakes on it all the way around with drilled slotted rotors this will kind of give you an idea of what's underneath the hood we're going to cover that for you in just a minute as we walk around kind of give you a peek down the sides here big old fat meats on the back at the end of the video here I'll actually have a tire size cover for you and we'll actually have it up on a lift we're in the park here so uh, we're gonna get move out of the way now and then. It's got nice uh, fingernail guards here, but all the bright work has finished off nicely on it. This artesian turquoise in the sun is really bright. F hard time finding a good spot in the park here to uh, do a fun, uh, f you know, a sun video on it, a fun sun video. But uh, we'll get some uh, capture some of the metallic over on the other side when we get over there. You know, all factory trim work for a Nomad. Underneath the hood here is a uh, very nice Ramjet 350. Electronic fuel injected 350 V8 GM performance. Rated at about 350 horsepower. Just under 400 foot-pounds of torque. It's an engine that uh, GM built to, for a lot of street rod applications. It's a GM crate engine. Told you we'd pick up color over here. Has a 4L60 automatic overdrive in it. Has a factory uh, V8 rear differential with positive traction uh, carrier in it. Bright work in the front is just beautiful. Kind of give you an idea that artesian turquoise will get up close here. It has a nice metallic to it, factory color. Has all the options you would want underneath the hood. It has uh, factory air conditioning, excuse me, not factory air conditioning. It has upgraded vintage air conditioning. Early morning here, getting my motor running. Again, the uh, Willwood disc brakes. Covered here. Just kind of letting you take it all in, taking it all in myself. Step back and let you get a kind of a look here on the, from the side view in the park. Inside, uh, again, creature comforts, kind of like we talked about. Vintage air conditioning, tilt steering wheel. A very, very nice high-end uh, Ron Mangus leather interior. Very supple leather, two-tone grade. Nice thing about his leather interiors and his work is it's always just nice and snug. Nice stitching lines. Very well known in the, in the hot rod street rod industry for his interiors. AC vents on the center console there with cup holders. AC vents on the side. Door jam to door jam. Seat belts in the front here. This rear seat folds down. Rear seat, nice little chevrons on the uh, seat here, which is kind of cool. Chrome door latches. Hardware here. All factory bright work in the dash. So again, a true resto mod. Factory looking car with upgraded powertrain. Rotisserie restoration. Has some very nice suspension underneath it. It has Ride Tech engineering. Uh, tubular control, strong arm tubular control arms up front, rack and pinion steering out back. It has a uh, four bar rear suspension coilovers on all four corners. Big old meats on the back, 265 45s in the back. I believe there uh, we'll actually have a tire size segment here for you at the end of the video I've already filmed that we'll open the tailgate and go through the whole rear deck of the wagon here for you so definitely you know hang on to the video like always bumperettes in the rear a lot of LED lighting inside underneath the dash Hoping I don't get runned over here. A 
The door in the driver's side here. German square weave carpet throughout. Has a uh, uh, comfort soft suede style headliner in it. All the bright work on the inside has been redone also. Flip the seat up here, kind of give you a feel of the back seat. These heat seats flip forward and create a full wagon in the back. Seat belts in the front. Tilt steering column, I did it style. Factory VIN where it's supposed to be. V8 car. Kind of get in here and give you a feel of the inside, the dash. Again, all factory and presentation wise. The, uh, we're going to fire it up here for you in just a minute. The wipers, they smoothed the firewall out front, so they make a rain gear wiper motor that can go underneath the dash, but this is a dummy knob. Here in Arizona, we just don't even think about putting wipers on uh, resto mods. We just use either rain X or uh, don't drive it in the rain. Not much of it here. Plastic instruments, gauge insert. So it has full gauges here, it's a temp gauge, 180 roughly, the cooling fan comes on automatically at about 170 or so, oil pressure 50 pounds, nice full gauges here, half tank, 14 volts roughly, a little tack in the center here, vintage AC controls right there, AC and heat. Custom auto, auto sound radio. I don't ever turn them up because uh, YouTube would get mad, copyright thing, that kind of thing. Again, a soft suede interior, all leather interior, nicely done. Walk out and let you hear it run. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. I'll go ahead and turn those headlights on so you kind of get a feel of the back. Anyway, there you go. Want to invite you in, tell you to make hang on to the end of the video. Have a great day. All right, let's get you underneath the hood. Very nice, nicely detailed, nice matte finish as we go throughout here. Again, professionally assembled by a uh, top name shop here in Lake Havasu City. PRC aluminum uh, radiator cross structure and cross flow radiator. Polished uh, AC condenser here. We'll get to the engine here in a minute. As the uh, billet hinges on both sides. Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. Very nice. Car stops beautifully. Underneath the hood here is a uh, Ramjet 350 from GM Performance. It's basically intake to oil pan. Comes with its harness. Uh, very very nice they they've actually tried to capture the vintage feel of the early rochester fuel injection on these and it gives it a nice look and feel they have multi-port tuned injectors on them it has a serpentine belt drive system on it power steering chrome power steering pump down here power master high amp alternator hooker uh, headers on it you'll see the uh uh, rear steer here, power rack and pinion steering, Flaming River steering box, tubular control arms, uh, Ride Tech uh, strong arm control arms, 4L60E automatic overdrive transmission. These engines are rated at about uh, just at right at 350 horsepower, almost just under 400 foot pounds of torque so they're a nice peppy little engine well built obviously gm manufactured kind of a nostalgia piece that they built again get down here wiring's all nicely done on it factory uh v8 rear differential with uh positrack on it Good little highway car, runs and drives nice. The matte finish that I talked about in the beginning of the video here goes all the way through the car to the bottom side of the hood. Sunglasses just fell off. 
there you go hey hang on to the end of the video go to spudsgarage.com thanks for listening to me all right we'll get you in the back here and uh share the tailgate area it's very nice uh billet and stainless hinges on the back the gates all been reworked and all new cables that kind of thing Ron Mangus interior like we talked about this is all German square weave carpet these billet hinges are nice door operates like it's supposed to and so does the hinge with new gas shocks on it I believe they would have had originally a uh, you know a folding mechanism there that went in there let's take a look at the in headliner from the back here comfort suede style all the chromes are in, been redone in here the uh, battery which is a gel battery is back here in the back anyway let's shut this up you want to shut the uh, glass first and then uh, lift the tailgate up just like that hang on to the end of the video thanks for listening to me all right, we thought we'd cover the uh, tire size here with you. Front tire size is a 215.50 R17. Get to the back here. Rear tire size is a uh, 265.45 R18. There you go. All right, here we are down at Spud's Garage. We've got it up on the lift here for you to take a really good look at the undercarriage. We actually doing this video prior to doing the walk around photo shoot. So I want to share it. We'll probably repeat ourselves like I often do. Uh, I want to cover the undercarriage in full detail, which is a really, really sweet part about this car. Very nicely done, professionally, professional style body off restoration uh, done by a SEMA award winning shop here in Lake Havasu City. All the floor pans have been completely redone. Uh, rotisserie like we talked about all finished with a uh, uh, lizard skin style of finish on it which is hard these nuts here this hardware here is for the battery the battery is actually in the spare tire well the chassis was completely stripped and powder coated in a semi uh, gloss, gloss finish up into the quarters also they did the same thing you'll see the uh, up into the wells here the fuel tank itself has also been powder coated and updated in the back of the car it has four wheel disc brakes in it that are wheel wood very nicely done has emergency brake we'll get up front here and share that with you the suspension has all been upgraded to four corner coilover nicely done and these are very nicely engineered uh, components for these tri-5 Chevys they're built by Ride Tech Engineering um, this is a uh, traditional four bar with a uh, triangulation in it Again, these are fully adjustable coilovers, so you can change the ride height as you like it. Again, a professional powder coat finish on everything in it. The exhaust is nicely wrapped. I believe they did that for sound purposes. Not necessarily heat to go all the way back. Keep it nice and quiet in the car. It's a wagon. It has Magnaflow mufflers on it. The fuel lines are all nicely done. You, again, you can tell it's professional nicely done nicely clamped to the chassis has a uh, holly fuel system in it because it has a ramjet 350 fuel injection on it so you know it's got a pre-filter and a post filter on the fuel pump there keep it from uh, seizing up on you there's where the filters are crossover on the exhaust here it has an e-stop uh, push button emergency brake on it all new chassis mounts that kind of thing we're covering the rockers here for you we'll actually go to the outside of the rockers has a uh, 4L60 automatic overdrive, four speed transmission. All the lines were done also with AN fittings and braided lines, even on the brake lines. We'll get up front here. See the braided brake lines and the Willwood disc up front, red calipers. Brand new Ramjet 350 uh, V8. The uh, rack itself is a uh, Flaming River rack. These are very nice, they have a good ratio for these cars. 
the components that hold everything together here are uh, Ride Tech, has Ride Tech strong arm control arms, has fully adjustable coilovers in the front here. The car has about 300 miles on it, so you'll see a little puddle or this or that. With a battery in the back, the size of the cables they ran here is very appropriate, very nicely done. Short tube headers up into here. Powermaster uh, mini high torque starter on it. Didn't cut any corners on the parts, that's for sure. Chassis again, you'll see the powder coat finish on the factory chassis. We'll get up front here and slide this jack back. Give you up front here. Again, Ride Tech Engineering, they've done the same finish all the way throughout the undercarriage on the car here. The uh, lizard skin style finish, dual horns up front, stabilizer bar, Ride Tech sticker, you see it there, strong arm. Again, the adjustable coilovers. Flaming River, you'll see that on the box there. Nice and tidy, very nicely done. Had some time to study this car before I take, took it out for the photo shoot. And uh, actually enjoying taking a look at it. Up into the fender apron, same thing. Nice car, great suspension. Rock solid, no structure issues. Rotisserie restoration. I'm going to jump out here and cover the rockers for you and the wheels. Foose wheels. Junkyard dog, I think, was what those are. We'll go down the rockers here and show you the chassis. all been powder coated inside and out. We'll get around to the front side there. Cover tire sizes out while I'm doing the walk around because it's just so hard for me to see. From here, battery on and off switch. Again, huge one aught cable there. Kind of gives you a feel of the artesian turquoise. All right. We think you get it by now. Thanks for hanging on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day.